Hi everyone, Cody here from the Proto Case Designer team. Proto Case Designer allows you to fully customize CAD templates with everything you need to suit your specific project because you can add cutouts, graphics, fasteners, and more. For this tutorial, I'm going to give you an overview of our face editor. Once you have Proto Case Designer open and have created your initial starting template, you are now ready to start customizing it. To do this, you'll customize each face of your template using the face editor. To access the face editor, click on Edit Face from the Design section, and then click the face of the template you want to start editing. Now we're in the face editor. The face editor is organized by different tabs and sections. Let's go through each one. The Design tab is a critical part of the face editor. This is the tab you'll be in to place different types of objects into your face. Under the Design tab, you can see a header labeled Type. This section shows which mode you are currently in. You can choose from cutout mode, graphic mode, masking, reference, and exclusion. The draw section contains tools to add shapes, text, and images to the face depending on the mode you are currently in. The tools section contains frequently used tools such as trim, pattern, measure, dimension, and coordinate view. The Edit section contains common features such as Cut, Copy, Paste, Undo, and Redo. Along the bottom we have the status bar. This displays the current XY coordinates of your mouse pointer, the item you're hovering over, the side of the face showing the inside or the outside, options for setting your nudge distance and rotation, as well as your graphics type. The Properties panel along the right hand side displays context sensitive properties that can be changed for the selected object, as well as options for notes and layers, and a help panel displaying information on your currently selected mode. In the top right corner, we have options for importing features such as 3D components, images, subassemblies, fonts, and more. Next to the Import Export options is our Library Manager. Here you can select which categories you want to view and click Go to open our Library Manager. This contains tons of cutouts, graphics, components, and more ready to use in your design. We'll go over the Library Manager more in depth in a later tutorial. The View tab is how you control what you see, including zooming in and out, panning, and resetting your view. If you want to change which side of the face you are editing, you can do so by selecting the front or back under Face View section. You can click on the Part Tree button to quickly see a list of the different parts in your Protocase Designer assembly. The View tab also includes your grid options. You can toggle the grid to be on or off, you can toggle Snap to the grid, and you can also change the size of your grid. If your design includes components, you can choose to display the 2D outline of the component profile as well as change the level of detail you will see in the profile. The Quick Search tab is a handy tool for finding an item in the Library Manager if you know what you're already looking for. I'll place a 40mm fan cutout using this. The Help tab has some resources to help guide you if you run into any issues or want to learn more about Protocase Designer. This concludes our high-level overview of the face editor. Next up, we're going to dig into objects and how they work in Protocase Designer. Thanks for watching.